Well, happy Sunday, Wayland Church. Come on, let's give the Lord a shout of praise in the house. Come on, that's too quiet. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Said, if these should hold their peace, the rocks shall cry out. I want you to look to your left and to your right and tell them no rock shall cry out for me. I'll give God praise today. Come on, give him a praise in this house. Oh, magnify the Lord. 
for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Hosanna. Everybody, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my one more time. Oh, oh, magnify. For he is worthy. Singing, oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy. Come on, wave your hands and say, Hosanna. Oh, blessed be the rock. Come on, we're in this time to turn up for the Lord. Clap those hands and prepare for worship. And we sing, oh, magnify the Lord for he. Come on, clap your hands and say. We declare, Hosanna. Oh, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. For he was wounded for our transgression, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Today we celebrate the Savior because by his stripes we are healed. Oh, I feel like it today. Go ahead and tell three or four people, tell them I'm already healed and it is well. It is well. Come on. I'm on to him. It is well. Buffet. Though Satan should buffet, though trials, let this, let this, let come on, sing that Christ, that Christ, He has regard in my.
takes my sin not in part not in part but the whole where are our sins they are nailed his nail and I bear them and I bear Somebody shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Oh my soul. Oh my. Is there a praise in the house on Palm Sunday? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. early in the service but tell somebody it's going to be alright it's going to be alright because it's well with my soul I don't care what the doctor said what the lawyer said it's well with our soul Woo. Ah. One more time, clap your hands and say, oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We thank God today. Come on, youth and young adults are leading us into worship. As our youth and young adults come for prayer, y'all move quickly before I pray and preach right now. Come on, move. We thank God for their participation. Also, we are celebrating and thanking God for the anniversary of our hospitality ministry look at them they they are four rows deep today four one two three four we thank God for the continuity of the ministry of presence they, they embody the core values of stability presence and care since the first Sunday in June in 2021 beyond and after Every Sunday morning, they have greeted the saints with a loving smile and a warm hospitality. Thank God for them every Sunday, names and all. Come on, Philander.
morning, Orlin. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Uh, thank you for everyone that is in attendance. Yes. Please help us to learn more about you on this Palm Sunday. Please help us to learn more about your word, and please help us to understand the word that our pastor is going to give to us. In your holy name, amen. Amen. Good morning, Waylon. Today I will read to you Matthew chapter 21, verses 6 through 11. Then the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them, and they had brought the donkey and the colt and placed their coats on them, and Jesus sat on the coats. Most of the crowd spread their coats on the road, while others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of them and those that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. When he entered Jerusalem, all the city was trembling with excitement, saying, Who is this? And the crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. God's word for God's people. Thank you. Amen. Come on. Amen. How many of you are glad to be in the house of the Lord again? Why don't you tell somebody one thing God did for you this week? Go ahead, testify. Tell somebody one or two things. The Lord, you ain't tell nobody, tell somebody something God did for you this week. Come on, babies, let's sing to the glory of God. Y'all, come on, celebrate, make big noise for our babies, leading us in song. Come on, encourage the children.
us live each Sunday via Facebook or YouTube. And don't forget to sign up for our group text to always stay informed. Prayer for the week. We are praying that believers will celebrate the entry of Jesus on every occasion. Join us online weekly for Bible study and worship service. There is something for everyone. We also have Monday night prayer service every Monday night at 7 p.m. Join us for Holy Week services this week, beginning with the observance of Monday, Thursday at 7 p.m. and Good Friday at noon. Both services are in person and will stream live via our media outlets. Our new church-wide sermon and study series entitled Handbook on the Gospels begins on Sunday, April 7th. The study text is available for purchase on Amazon.com and ChristianBook.com. The marriage ministry extends a warm invitation to all married and engaged couples for our 31st annual marriage retreat taking place Thursday, April 25th to Saturday, April 27th at the luxurious Embassy Suites in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. This retreat promises to be an enriching experience for couples seeking to nurture and strengthen their bonds in a setting focused on Christ-centered relationships. The cost is $600 per couple. A $200 deposit is due on March 30th, with the balance due by April 13th. For more information, please contact the individuals listed on the flyer. Take a leap of faith and play golf. Wayland's exclusive two-day golf clinic will take place on Saturday, May 4th and Saturday, May 11th from 12 to 2 p.m. at the Forest Park Golf Course. Whether you're a completely new beginner or looking to refine your skills, this is your chance to learn from the best in the biz. International PGA instructors Ed Crowley and Richard Shepard. The cost is only $27 per person. Register today using the QR code on the flyer. And registration deadline is Monday, April 8th. Mark your calendars. We are celebrating Reverend Dr. Robert E. Young's third pastoral anniversary with a special musical event, Bring Back the Choir, presented by the Music Ministry of Wayland. Join us for this uplifting two-day celebration on Friday, April 19th and Saturday, April 20th. The Bring Back of the Choir Music Workshop is from 9 a.m. to noon on Saturday, April 20th, with original music submitted and taught by Baltimore's own Reverend Eric Scott and Dr. W. Patrick Alston. The cost to attend is $20 and includes lunch. Please contact Minister Penny Burkhead for more information. Stay connected and download the Wayland Baptist Church app on all your mobile devices. Please refer to our website for more information on these events. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and X for daily inspiration. Thank you for tuning in to Wayland Radio for your weekly announcements. Have a blessed day. Good morning, Wayland family and friends. I'm Brother Julian Johnson. We are very grateful and glad to be together again. If you are a first time visitor, please stand and remain standing. On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Dr. Robert E. Young, First Lady, Sister Misha Young, and the Wayland family, welcome to Wayland. Thank you for choosing to worship with us today. We hope your visit is a blessing for you today and encouragement to you throughout the week. You may be seated. It's wonderful anytime we can fellowship together. Again, welcome as we are better together. Thank you and have a blessed day. Amen. Julian got right to the point. He said, welcome. Have a nice day. Amen. How many glad to be in church on Palm Sunday? Again, one more time. 
to our first time guests and returning guests. Please stand, we just wanna recognize you and thank God for you. Thank you for coming to Wayland. Thank you, brother, thank you, sister. Come on, church, let's, let's serenade them. Let's give them our official welcome on this Palm Sunday. Come on, together, together. Ephesians 4 Church, together we are better and wailing back. Welcome, one more time, together, together. Vibrant, feel for church together. Wailing back, this church, welcome. Come on, clap your hands for our guests and for our gifts. If you haven't done so, clap your hands for your neighbor sitting next to you today. Amen. Tell him it's good to see you. Glad you're in church today. Amen. Amen. Beloved, we wish above all things that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prosper. Greet you in the wholeness of Jesus Christ. It is a beautiful day today, isn't it? It is an absolutely beautiful day today. And I want to give a shout out, fellas, just can play something softly. I don't want to be here up, uh, too long, amen, because I want to get some chicken later on, uh, amen. And I can't stand but so long today because I'm not sore, but I just feel good, all right? I, I feel good. Uh, uh, but uh, we do want to give a shout out. Congratulations, uh, Brother William Fortune. Where is he? Over there. He was selected. Okay, yeah. <laughs> He was selected as a 2024 recipient of a Carolyn E. Fouguet Elevating Black Creative Scholarship. So we celebrate you on today. Amen. And again, thank you to all the men and women who came out yesterday. And, and we had fun. And I'm not going to talk no smack if you were there. Thank you for showing up. Amen. And it was a great time of fun and fellowship. And kudos to the men and women who came, even though you didn't play. You just showed your, your presence and uh, you, you, you heckled and you were part of a good crowd. And we thank you so much for taking the opportunity to make a connection with some young men and women who may not come on Sunday morning, but amen, came on a Saturday morning. Come on, somebody give God praise for that. All right, now this week, look at your neighbor and say, Waylon, we have guests coming to the house. We have guests coming to the house this week. Amen. And when we have guests come to your house, you tidy up. You tighten up. You clean up. You straighten up. You fix up. Now, it might go to pots when they leave, but when they're there, it's clean. Y'all ain't getting no amen. Some of y'all are clean for your guests. What am I saying? I'm saying we are hosting two very important holy services this week and I, and and I want the expectation is that what we do on what we do on Sunday reflects each time we come together now Thursday morning we're going to celebrate the life of sister Geraldine Wilson 10:30 wake 11 a.m. service then we're returning Thursday night 7 p.m. is when we start we should be in place 6:15 6:30 we're going to have Holy Communion with the Covenant Churches of Baltimore, where I serve as the president. We will do that in the sanctuary, not in the chapel. We're coming upstairs. We want to honor the Lord. Other churches are coming. There's a guest pastor who's coming and bringing his congregation. When all God's children get together, what a time. So, amen. So we want all of our... Amen. Clap your hands for the unity. So I'm, we are expecting a strong presence in our worship and arts minute uh, fold and service fold, music, ushers, media, everyone, uh, doorkeepers, security, the whole gambit. Just like Sunday morning, we want our guests to know that we are prepared for their arrival. Amen. And so our leaders will be in place, will be in, in their black and white. The clergy will be here, pastors covenant will be in robes and we are going to come to the Lord's table. We're going to be unified at the Lord's table as, as baptized believers. That's Thursday night 
7 p.m. here at Wayland Baptist Church in the main sanctuary. It won't be long. We do want to honor the Lord. They're coming from all over the city. So we don't want them to come to our house and we are absent. I didn't get no amens over here. Y'all know I know names and faces now. Ain't no more masks. But we want everybody here. We would say la de da and everybody. Uh, but if you have folks coming to your house, be present. Even if you don't serve in an official capacity, come and worship. Come and be a worshiper. Amen. And so we're looking forward to Thursday. Be here early. Get your pocket space. Get your favorite seat because we got guests coming. But if they need a seat, give up your seat for our guests. Amen. Because together we are better. Are we together? Are we together? All right. Uh, then we return Friday high noon for seventh last words. Same expectation of service and presence, stability, and care. And so we're going to have a great time with the seven last sayings of Jesus Christ. Twelve noon. Won't be here long, but we do want to honor the high and holy day at 12 noon. Seven strong words from the Lord. Amen. As we prepare for resurrection weekend. Amen. Guess what, y'all? It is Holy Week 2024. Give God praise for that. Lastly, lastly, Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday, next Sunday, uh, I put out a challenge. We usually would dress down, but because it's Resurrection Sunday, because Jesus defeated death, hell, and the grave. <laughs> because Jesus defeated death, hell, and the grave. Sister Target, they didn't get it. I said because he defeated death, hell, and the grave. I can't go there yet. Just... Brother Haiti, we can't shout to next Sunday. But just go ahead and tell somebody, oh, he did get up. Oh, he, he, he did. He, I, I, I serve a risen Savior. I'm, let me, that's next week, but I don't, I don't do all this for something that's dead. I do this for a living Savior. <laughs> hey, I said I do it for a living Savior. So, that's my son. He trying to push me. Stop, buddy. He want to have a praise break. It's only 1015. So what am I asking? I'm challenging each of us to wear our Sunday's best next week whatever your best is hats Cadillacs if you want to try to outdress Deacon Hayden try or Deacon God I don't know they ready already this week they they giving a foretaste amen oh, brother Pondo he always come with bow tied up and my singing man back there with the ball head he always sharp straight out the closet Amen. But if your if your best is a is a three hundred dollar pair of Versace jeans, bring it. But if you got a suit, go get a suit. Go to KNG. Go to Supreme Impressions. Go to Diplomat. Go to Walmart. JC JC Penny Tarjay. Get a shirt and a tie. Get a hat. Whatever it is that your best is, let's. Let's come with a throwback spirit with a just sharp Sunday best when our best attire. How many remember we used to dress up every Sunday? It wasn't no down. Little, little girls being poofy dresses every week. How many of those sisters used to wear them poofy dresses? And mama put you in like you was going to the baby prom. Come on, somebody. I wore a three-piece suit at eight years old like I'm going to the Tom Thumb wedding. And I better not wear any other color shirt besides white. My father see me now, he fussing right now because I don't have on white, I got on green. I'm 43, I wear what I want, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on, let's do it big. Let's have that big energy for Christ next week, right? Come on. And I, I, know, I, I know the anniversary said it's a, it's a two day celebration, but it's really three, because again, on Sunday we're coming together, my father will be here to preach. Dr. Jesse Young, so we're just going to have a great time. Give our young folk a hand. They are really just 
leading us in an excellent way. Good morning. Each week, the WBC Careful has information of importance to present to our congregation. This week's focus is a, recall, a call to repentance. For the kind of sorrow God wants us to experience leads us away from sin and results in salvation. There is no regret for what that kind of sorrow. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10, New Living Translation. There are three words that describe the process of repentance, recognition, agreement, and commitment. Recognition comes as we study scripture and learn what God identifies as sin. Until we acknowledge that our actions are wrong, we don't see any real need to confess them to them. Next, we must agree with the Lord's assignment of our behavior, assessment of our behavior. Without agreement, our confession will be more about the consequences of our sin rather than the genuine remorse over violating his holy standard. Finally, commitment is also necessary. We must dedicate ourselves to turning away from sin by choosing to walk obediently in the manner God commands, knowing he will empower us to do so. Remember, therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. This means when you belong to Jesus, you can change permanently. You can be completely liberated from the bondage that enslaves you. Therefore, repent fully so you can experience the abundant life he created for you. Thank you for listening and have a blessed day. Y'all see Wallace limping over there to get that? Look at him. Oh my goodness. That must have been that hit Ezra gave him yesterday. Yeah. Good morning. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. Bring ye all thys into storehouse that may, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me, Saint the Lord of hosts, if I will not you open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that shall not be room enough to receive it. Why do we give? Proverbs chapter 3, 9 declares, Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thine increase. Show thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presser shall burst out with new wine. Why do we give? Acts chapter 2, 44 declares, All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give anyone who had need. Why do we give? Yes. Ephesians 4 declares, Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry of the ministry and for edifying the body of Christ. Why do we give? Give, 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 and it shall be given unto you. In all, in, in good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Together we are better. Lord, thank you for us being able to give. Amen.
more time give it up for the baby so come on come on come on come on Hosanna so let the words in my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight oh Lord my strength and my redeemer so don't exalt the preacher don't exalt the pew preach the gospel simple full and free prove him and his promises are true he'll draw all men unto himself lift him up lift him up and still he speaks from eternity Jesus said if I be lifted up above the earth I will draw all men unto me let our king be lifted up Hosanna 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 in Jesus name we pray clap your hands one more time and thank God for everything he's doing in our midst Amen. That little girl who was reading was Minister Henry's granddaughter. Is our mama here? All right. And, and her daughter's daughter. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so was read in your hearing earlier today. Uh, simply in streamline, verse 8, 21, Matthew 21 and 8. Most of the crowds spread their coats on the road as before a king. Cutting down branches and trees, they spread them on the road. Verse 9, and the crowds went ahead of him and were shouting in praise and adoration, Hosanna, son of David. Praise and glorified him. Verse 10, when he entered Jerusalem, all the city was trembling with excitement. Who was this? The crowd said, that's Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. I don't have to retell the story today. I'm going to tell the story and we're going to shout together. Amen. I want to preach from this star, Jesus Christ, superstar. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, in the musical, over 50 years old, Jesus Christ, superstar, sung through rock opera, and loosely based on the gospel's account of the Passion Week. Amen. It was around 1971. The work interprets the psychology of Jesus and other characters with much of the plot centered on Judas. Judas who is dissatisfied with the direction in which Jesus is steering his disciples. And contemporary attitudes, sensibilities, and with this rock opera and the lyrics and talks about how it's a political event and it's, again, this... Jesus Christ superstar 
rock musical is set around or against the backdrop of the final week of the life of Jesus Christ as seen through the eyes of Judas. But when it comes to the Passion Week, here's my simple prose today, and I'll be out of here in 12 and a half minutes. This week, it's all about Jesus. Jesus Christ is the superstar of Passion Week, not Judas. Superstar Jesus, super hater Judas. You know, too often we focus our energies on Judas and not Jesus. Too often we focus our energies on the betrayal or the backstab or the backbiter or the hater or the ops. The reality is, haters are going to hate. I wish I had 13 more amens. No, no matter how brilliant your work is, no matter how many people adore you and respect you, there'll always be a few haters who try to go out of their way to destroy you, to defame you, to criticize you. Satan was an angel known as the morning star. He walked on God's holy mountain. He was a cherubim, but he became consumed with pride that he became corrupt and violent, no longer wanted to serve under God. Satan, Lucifer, tempted to take from God the praise and glory only reserved for the Lord. And here it is, haters always get bored and they want your spotlight. Judas is and Lucifer's and haters always want to be the center of attention. They got quiet on passing here. But Jesus, somebody say, but Jesus. But Jesus is the superstar. Jesus is the high profile, extremely successful, big name, distinguished, esteemed, hallelujah, high ranking, illustrious, outstanding, preeminent, prominent, renowned, well known. Jesus is not just the morning star, he's the bright and morning star. And if you cannot get excited, Excited this week about simply just Jesus, then check the temperature of your faith and your salvation. Check the barometer of your belief systems. If I got a proper lie to you this week and tell you God gonna bless you with a Benz, Beamer, or Bitling for you to shout, your Jesus is weak, but my Jesus is strong. He is the superstar. He such a superstar that I didn't come I didn't come to his house to see you I came to his house to see and to feel and to experience the owner of the house and his name is Jesus I'm getting too excited already but look at your neighbor tell him you look real nice today but you are not the star. You are not the center of attraction. If you were absent today, I would have still came to church. If you called out, I would have still put on my clothes. If you text me this morning, said I'm not going to be able to make it to church, I would respond. That means I'll shout for me and I'll shout for you. Is there anybody in here you came to see the bright and morning star? Not Robert Young, not the deacons or the musicians or the singers, but I came to see the one that found me in the drunk house. I came to see the one that snatched you. Don't make me preach it like I feel it. Because some of y'all in here 55 and older, you better thank God. It wasn't no Facebook at the boom boom room. You better thank God. It wasn't no camera phones. Come on, and the red light special. And you weren't drinking. God help me Holy Ghost. Come on, anybody here grateful that the morning star, the bright and morning star is ever shining in your soul somebody shout get your shine on Jesus 
That's why I came to church on Palm Sunday. I think I'm going to mess up my sermon. I need at least 45 people in here will shake yourself and say, I'm glad I woke up this morning. I'm glad he started me on my way. I may have some aches and some pains, but I came to see the healer. His name is Jesus. I may have some stress, but I came to see my therapist who said, come on, come unto me. All you that are labored and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Is there anybody here that's declaring in this spring season, Jesus is going to renew my mind, my heart, my energy? Shout yeah! I'm done. But he says, Jesus is the superstar. And, and, and we know about the surroundings of the, the, the uh, Palm Sunday, the festival of Passover, the Jewish festival, you know, when, when they go into the holies of holies and the unleavened bread and they're celebrating uh, the death angel passing over them and they're celebrating liberation from Egypt, Egyptian bondage. We get that. It is highly politicized, but here it is. They're celebrating. Here it is. The intervention of God in their political, social, and spiritual life. They're, what they're saying is, yes, God is for us. God will save us. That Jesus came into the city as a king bringing peace to the glory of God in the highest and this week if there's anything I'm thanking God for this week I'm thanking God for the peace of mind that I have that comes with my relationship with Jesus Christ now let me see the hands of those who you didn't always have that peace and that assurance you had to look over your shoulder and make sure Pookie from the block didn't pull up on you make sure Susie from the club didn't pull up on you but is there anybody here that you have the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ it's the peace that surpasses all all understand it and here it is why is Jesus Christ the superstar I got 10 more minutes of this and I but I feel like going on it right now just 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 agitate your neighbor until they get to you get on their nerves and tell them you ain't the star you ain't come on they, 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 they look at somebody say I know it I know it I know it I know if it had not been for the Lord on my side I still be jacked up toe up from the flow up I know who the star is and it's I know it ain't me I know here it is I'm out of here number one he's the star because of his royalty right verse 8 said the crowd spread their coats on the road and the branches as they would a king, he's, he's royalty. He's the king of kings according to Revelation. He's the king of kings. He's a, the, the Lord of lords. He's above all rulers. There is no power above him. There is no authority above him. Look at somebody say, he's all the way up. I feel like preaching if y'all let me. Shake your neighbor who ain't too cold, tell him he's all the way up. He ain't nothing above him because he's all the way up. Who you gonna tell on me besides God? He's all the way up. As a matter of fact, anybody had to talk to him this morning? Had to sit, come on, say, he's all the way up. And that's why I know when the praises go up. He's, 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 he's royalty. They, 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 had to, they spread their coats before the king. They cut the branches down, put it at his feet. And, and here it is what they were saying. Long story short is, everything I have, I'm gonna put it at the feet of Jesus. I, I, I came to him just as I was weary worn and sad but I found in him a resting place and this is why I got excited about yesterday is because we were playing ball and hanging out amen with some young men and women who were coming just as they were they got quiet on me in here. Amen. They, they had to worry about the welcome song. They had to worry about if they're sitting in the right seat. They have to worry about if they know when to nod, when to bow, 
now and went to do the crucifixion. Come on, they just came just as they were. They laid everything they had at the feet. Is there anybody here that knows there's a blessing in laying your burdens at the feet of Jesus? There's a blessing. Matter of fact, tell somebody I had to lay something down this morning. That's the enemy didn't even want me to make it to church, but I had to lay down my tiredness and my weariness at his feet because he's he's royal and secondly he's a superstar because of the reverence verse 9 said the crowds went ahead of him they were shouting uh, I feel like it anyway shouting Hosanna Messiah anointed one they were shouting Messiah the one who the prophets prophesied about who, whose mission was death and resurrection and the fulfillment of messianic prophecies he is the anointed one he is the deliverer and the king the anointed the anointing he is the one who has been smeared in the oil and, and we all know that oil comes from the olive and the olive has the oil inside of it but it can't come out until it's gone through a process a crushing a bruising process because the best of the olive can only come out when it's gone through some pain and that's why Jesus was the anointed one because he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and, and, and with his stripes hold up we are here let me work two more minutes that's why he's the anointed one because he's been through something and I have reverence for him because he's been through something and he survived what he's been through Am I talking to any other anointed people in here today that life tried to bust you up? Life tried to crush you. Life tried to take you down. But the only thing it did was bring the best praise out of you. Bring the best commitment out of you. Bring the best sacrifice out of you. Tell somebody I still have my oil. That's what I was trying to get to. I'm about to jump off this green suit. But if you ever been beat down by people, beat down by disappointment, beat down by sickness, but you came back, but you came back, but you came back, but you bounced back, somebody shout, I'm anointed for this. Come on, say, I'm anointed for this. Whatever my life, thou hast taught me to say, I'm anointed for this. Now I think I'm ready to preach. Go ahead and just lift your hands and say, I've been through too much not to take care of this anointing on my life. And, 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 and so, and so I, I leave y'all today. We're going to be here all week long. But is there anybody here that's glad the superstar is Jesus Christ? Yeah, because he's royal and because of his reverence and lastly because of the revelation of who he is. And verse 10 it says, they said that this is Jesus from Nazareth and Galilee. I got one question for you, Brother Masso. Do you know who he is? Uh, I said, do you know? who he is I said do you know who he is well I'm gonna tell you who he is I, I, I can point I can point to the star all the way in the Bible can I point to the star BJ can I point to the star in Genesis Jesus is a ram at Abraham's altar in Exodus he's the Passover lamb in Leviticus he's the high priest in numbers he's a cloud by day and a pillar by night in Deuteronomy he's a city of refuge y'all don't want me to preach in here in Joshua he's the scarlet thread out of Rahab's window 
In Judges, he's our judge. In Ruth, he's our kinsman redeemer. Somebody shout the shining star. In Samuel, he's the prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's the king. In Ezra, he's a faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's a rebuilder. Somebody shall preach, Pastor. In Esther, he's the Mordecai. In Job, he's a redeemer. In Psalms, he's the shepherd. And I shall not want to. In Proverbs, he's my wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, he's the bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's a suffering prophet. In Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the four, the face man. In Daniel, he's the fourth man in the fiery furnace. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, do you know the star? In Hosea, he's a faithful lover. In Joel, he's the Holy Spirit. In Amos, he's our burden bearer. In Obadiah, he's our savior. In Jonah, he's our missionary. In Micah, he's our messenger. Preach Robert Young. In Nahum, he's our avenger. In Habakkuk, he's the watchman. In Zephaniah, he's Lord Mighty. In Haggai, he's the restorer. In Zechariah, he's our fountain. In Malachi, he's a son of righteousness. In Matthew, he is the Christ. In Mark, he's a miracle worker. In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the way, the truth, and the life. In Acts, he's the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he's the justifier. In Corinthians, he's a resurrection of Sayer. In Galatians, he's a redeemer. In Ephesians, he is the church. Can I preach y'all? In Thessalonians, he's the coming king. In Philippians, he shall supply all my needs. In Colossians, he's the fullness of the Godhead. In Timothy, he's our mediator. In Titus, he's our hope. In Philemon, he's a friend that's sticking closer than any brother. In Hebrews, he is the blood that gives me strength from day to day. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let pastor preach. In James, he's our healer. In Peter, he's our chief shepherd. In John, he's our tender love. In Jude, he's our Lord. And in Revelations, he's the king of kings. Woo! Do you know him? Do you know him? He reigns forever. What's his name? I didn't want to preach this hard today, but tell somebody he is the resurrection and the light. He died, but early next week he got up. Say yeah. Say yeah, say yeah. I, 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 I didn't mean to do all that, y'all. But touch three people. Tell them Jesus is my star. He woke me up. You ain't touch nobody. He, you ain't touch nobody. You ain't touch nobody. He woke me up this morning and it started me 
Yes. Is he all right? I, 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 I said, is he all right? Then shout Hosanna. Hosanna. I feel like shouting. I feel like running and dancing because this joy that the saints have, the world did not give it to us. And this week, be a proud Christian. Be a proud believer. Be a proud follower of Jesus Christ. Somebody give your superstar praise in here. Come on, we got time. Shake yourself, y'all. Come on, give him glory. We got to go. Listen, I'm trying to move on, but if you've ever been delivered from something, if Jesus ever delivered you from something, you got 30 more seconds to show your appreciation. If he ever saved you from something, then clap, move, rock, I see you. Go ahead and help yourself. Take the whole aisle. Go ahead. We're not thinking of his goodness, what he done for me. Think of his goodness, how he saved me. Dance, dance, hey. with him hallelujah yes sir when I think of his goodness what he done for me how he died on Calvary that's to set me free I can dance We gotta move on. I'm trying to move. Yes. Come on, lift those hands. Lift those hands. I, I, I could imagine. At the, I could imagine on site that it was noisy, it was rambunctious. 
people were pushing and shoulder to shoulder. It was, it was packed. It was bustling. I'm sure the shouts of Hosanna and blessed is he. I'm sure it was loud. And I know some of y'all say it's loud in here, but you, you, you should have been there when blind Bartimaeus saw Jesus coming down on that, on that donkey. See, because when you got a testimony of what the Lord has done for you, don't let nobody tell you to be quiet. I'm sure that little girl who was dead at 12 years old, you know, Jesus brought her back to life. I'm sure when she came into town and heard that same Jesus was walking down Gerson Boulevard. She opened up her window and shouted, Hey, Jesus, I appreciate you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Watch me. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can assure you that the woman with the issue of blood whose condition was incurable she went to all, spent all she had and she was dying until one day that same Jesus came through her neighborhood and she touched the hem of his garments so if she was downtown and Jesus was riding through on the coat she probably put her head against her and said, hey Jesus I appreciate you that's all I gotta say that's it that's it but I need somebody to act like come on put yourself at the scene open your mouth and say Jesus I appreciate you I appreciate what you did for my family what you did for my church for my community for my finances yes We got to move. If those hands, I only have a little bit of voice left, but it just says, how can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things. That's what I'm saying. That's my testimony. So undeserved. Yet you gave to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels cannot distress my gratitude. All that I am and I ever hope to be come on say it I owe it all owe it all to thee here's our part everybody to God to God everybody be the glory to have church in here today for the things he has done with his blood with his blood he has saved me he has saved me Woo! God 
Almighty. Hallelujah. And with his power, with his power, he has raised me. I'm trying to move, y'all. We got to go. To God. Be all the glory for the things he... The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open. Wait a minute. Be, be, before we open the doors of the church, let's just, let's just pray. Can, can we pray? I say, can we pray? Deacon, Deacon Marcel, I know I'll call you on the spot. Just, just say a prayer for us in here who, who are thankful that Jesus saved us from something. How many glad he didn't let you stay a sinner, stay messed up, but he, he's still cleaning you up right now. He's still washing you. He's still... Let us pray. Our Father and our God, it's once again, Lord, we have gathered together in your name, Heavenly Father, lifting you up, Heavenly Father, giving you all praise, honor, and glory. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you right now, Father, for all the many, many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you, Father, from the things that you have saved us from, Father, the backsliding we've done, Father. The, the sins that we've committed, the sins unseen, Heavenly Father, things of commission, sins of omission, Father. Father, we thank you for the sacrifice you've made for us on Calvary's cross. We thank you for your entry into Jerusalem on this day, 2,000 and some years ago, Heavenly Father, to start a week of passion, Lord. We thank you for the, your, your blessings, Father. We thank you for, for all that you've done on our behalf, Father, even when we didn't deserve it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that you just love us in spite of ourselves, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that, that you've given us a right to the tree of life through the sacrifice that you've made. And Lord, we just want to say thank you. On this day, Father, stay with us. Keep us in your heart, Heavenly Father. Let us know, dear Lord, that you are the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to the Father is through you. We thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you for our congregation, Heavenly Father. We ask that you be with us for this entire week, Lord, as we're going to be with you. For it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. The doors of the church are open. He has done marvelous. He has done marvelous things. Pray. The doors of the church are open. Come on. Join the church. Give your life to Christ. Be baptized. Marvelous thing. Come on, buddy. Praise the Lord. He has done marvelous, he marvelous things. Come on and join the church today. Give your life to Jesus, brother, sister. Come on down. Just come out of your seat, come down the aisle. I'm just going to shake your hand. Is there one? Join the church or restore your relationship with the church today. Come on, what better time than Holy Week? Step out of your seat, come down the aisle. I'm just going to shake your hand and thank God for your decision to start a new life, a new journey with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not been baptized and you're ready to make that step, come on down the aisle. If you want to join our family, become a part of our ministries and grow with us, come on, make that step. All you got to do is stand up and step out. Come on, everybody, clap your hands and say, He has done marvelous. Sopranos. Let's see. Come on, altos, altos. Marvelous. Marvelous. Husty. Come on, tenors and basses. He has done marvelous things. We get ready to go home. I need the palms. Oh, he has done marvelous things. Is there one? Help me minister to somebody. Ask them, are you saved? Do you have a church home? Have you been baptized? If they say no, I don't know what you're talking about.
Come on, take their hand. Tell them, don't be scared. Come on. Some of, some of us could be in church and not even know. Come on, say amen. We want today to make sure you're covered as a believer, as a member of a fellowship of faith. Clap your hands one more time for a saved house, covered house. Marvelous he, marvelous things. Praise the Lord. He has done marvelous things. Marvelous things. Clergy, would you help me lay hands on the palms, please? Just lay hands on the palms and pray. Ask the Lord's anointing, ask the Lord's blessings as they are a symbol and a representation of the kingliness of our Christ. They say it takes 30 years for the palm tree to produce fruit. And it also takes 30 years for someone to become an official high priest. Jesus at 30 began his ministry as a high priest. So as you fold your palms, just we put them on your dashboard, put them at the, at the house, on your, on your desk at the office, even your virtual office. Put a picture of a palm tree behind you as your virtual background. And remember that the high priest, Jesus, is sitting at the right hand of God make an intercession for you he's praying for us where we're not even praying for ourselves that's why we say things like while on others thou are calling do not pass us by high priest is the one not only who hears prayers but he forgives sins forgives sins he certifies miracles Hears prayers, certifies miracles, forgives sins, performs sacrifices for us. So as you wave them this week, remember it's not just an ornament. It is an announcement that he is Lord. He has risen from the dead and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. I feel the Holy Ghost again. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. So Father, in Jesus' name, renew. Renew our passion for you during Passion Week. Maybe you always remember as Apostle Paul said, that if we're going to, we first must suffer with him before we reign. That many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers out of all. For I reckon that the suffering of the present time not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed. So Lord, this week as we identify with your pain and passion, bless these palms in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands, everybody. Shout Hosanna. Can I? Can I get mine first, please? Now, Gerald, I saved your life yesterday. Now you're acting funny at the altar now. Lord, save Gerald today in Jesus' name. Lord, save him, Lord. God bless you, ushers. You may return to the rear as you receive your palms as you exit the sanctuary today. How many have been blessed by our worship encounter today? Oh, Sunday morning. Let us be reminded of our, of our service, obligations, and commitment this week. Please, Will, and let's, let's show up strong numbers Thursday and Friday. We don't usually have evening services, or afternoon services, or midweek. This will be the first time in, in years that we've hosted them, so let's show up in a grand, grand attendance God be with you 
until we meet again. God, God be with you. God, be... clap your hands like we in old time church. God, be with. Pick it up, fellas. Oh, until we meet again. Oh, God, God be with you. Oh, God, God be with you. I sing, God. Good to see you, Sister Borley. Good to see you. God bless you. God is near. Shake somebody's hand and just tell them, say, God be with you. Come on, if you don't mind, shake the hand and say, God. Heart be with you. God, God be with you. I'm singing, God. May God stay with you, cover you, till we meet, till we meet again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. God be gracious unto you. Lift up the light of his countenance right about you. Give you peace. This week, Jesus Christ is the superstar. This week, he will be lied on, betrayed, crucified, and die. But we look forward to the resurrection next Sunday. Bless us this week. Cover us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. You are dismissed. Have a safe and wonderful Sunday. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.